now we shall discuss about the crystal planes so there is a particular indexing system for crystal planes we will talk about that the orientation of a crystal plane is determined by three points on a plane provided they are not collinear collinear points would make a straight line so if we, we need only three points but there is a conventional way of indexing crystal planes that conventional way is called the miller indices how uh, these miller indices are found so there are certain steps to follow the first step is to find the intercepts of a plane on the axis in terms of the lattice constant that is a1 a2 and a3 and then the axis may be those of a primitive or non primitive unit cell so if we have for example fcc cell then we can consider the primitive uh, one that is of lower symmetry or the cubic one anything is fine but uh, one has to mention that this uh, miller indices are in reference with the primitive or the fc the cubic cell whatever it is and then the next step is to take the reciprocals of those numbers and then reducing those numbers to three integers having the same ratio usually the smallest three integers are taken and the result is put inside a parenthesis as h k l so h k l are the miller indices let's consider an example to find to understand the scheme that i proposed let us consider that there is a plane that makes intercepts with a1 a2 and a3 as 4 1 and 2 then we will take the reciprocal of these inverses that is 1 over 4 1 over 1 that's 1 and 1 over 2 now if we multiply this by 4 all of this by 4 if we do that we will get 1 4 and 2 so the miller indices of this plane can be written as 1 4 2 it could be a part of your homework to uh, identify planes in a crystal lattice give, uh, when the miller indices of that plane is given now for an intercept at infinity that means if that plane doesn't have any intersection with a crystal axis then the corresponding miller index will be zero because one over infinity will come to be zero And if the intercept is negative, then we will have a negative Miller index. For example, if we have a, a negative Miller index, then we write like this. Here, the intercept with A2 axis is negative. And that bar at the top means it's negative Miller index. And there is another convention. Say we write... 200 zero, zero, this kind of a miller index it could have been written 100 zero, zero. so we have parallel planes 100 zero, zero planes and 200 zero, zero would mean a plane that's at half a distance to that plane parallel to 100 zero, zero plane but at half a distance that's 200 zero, zero plane then we have directions in a crystal Directions are written as U, V, W. So, these directions are uh, just along the 
axis. So these are the components uh, from the axis. For example, if we want to represent the A1 axis, corresponding direction in a Miller index would be 1, 0, 0. If we want to represent the negative of A2 axis, the corresponding direction would be 0, 1, bar, 0 and so on. Now we shall look into some simple crystal structures.